Given an exponential function, we're asked to sketch the graph and determine the domain and range. Let's begin with the basic graph, y equals 2 to the x power, and then identify the transformations. In this case, I see y equals 2 to the x minus 1, which would be a shift to the right one unit. Next, I see the plus 3. So the final graph will be a shift to the right one unit and then a shift up three units as indicated by the plus three here. Once we identify the basic graph and the transformations, we're ready to sketch the graph of the final function here. Now let's begin with the basic graph here, y equals two to the x power. When x is say negative two, we have two to the negative two power, which is one fourth. So negative two comma one fourth is a point on that graph. When I substitute zero in for x, two to the zero is one, and the y-intercept is zero comma one. And then say when I substitute x equals two, two to the second power is four. So two comma four will be a point on that graph. And so here we can sketch the graph of y equals two to the x. Now we'll use this graph to sketch the graph of the function here by shifting all the points right one unit and then up three units. So the point here at negative two comma one fourth shifted right one unit and up three units will give us a point on the final graph about here at negative one comma three and a quarter shifting this point right one unit and up three units will give us a point on the final graph here at one comma four and then shifting this point right one unit and up three units gives us a point at three comma seven now in addition we notice that y equals zero or the x axis is a horizontal asymptote when i shift that up three units I'll have y equals three as a horizontal asymptote for my final graph. And so I'll draw, draw that in and then sketch the graph of f of x. Once we have a rough sketch of f, we can then determine the domain and range. Now the domain is the set of x values for which the function is defined. And from the graph we can see that the function is defined for all x values. So in other words, the domain is all real numbers, and I'll write that in interval notation here from minus infinity to infinity. Now the range is the set of all y values for which the function is defined. And we can see here, since we have an asymptote, three is the lower bound of the range, and all the possible y values are greater than that. And so writing this in interval notation, we have the interval from three to infinity. And so there we have it, a rough sketch of the given exponential function and its domain and range.